Hello everyone, this is Jennifer McGuire and I've created this video for Simon Says Stamp and it features some of their newest products. In this I'm also going to show you how I created some die cut wood hearts. So here's the card that I'm creating. It uses lots of fun new products and I created those little red hearts from some wood paper and I colored them red. So I'll show you how I did the whole card. First of all I wanted to show you how I did these word bubble die cuts in the background. I think these are really fun. They're from the Simon Says Stamp Life series of die and you can see there's two here. The one on the left does an outline and the solid center, and the one on the right is a little bit bigger and just does the solid. These are great for scrapbooking or card making. They're, um, the bigger one is 3x4, so it's perfect for any of those scrapbook pocket pages that you might do, or they're perfect to fit on the front of a card. I love products that work for both scrapbooking and card making. Now you can see there's three different shapes I get from these two dies and I think it's really fun because you can use the outline here which is real delicate or you can use one of the two solid centers and I'll show you what I do with that in a moment. I'm going to go ahead and cut one out from the white too. While I have all this out I'm just going to go ahead and cut a bunch and I can make several cards from these. You could also use the negative space here and just cut around it and use an outline of the die. So now I wanted to show you how I did this little bubble in the center here. I decided to overlap two of them and I love how they fit together like this with the, with the little speaking part on the bottom kind of off center. I think that's quite fun. That's from two different dies there. And I'm going to stamp some images here in the center. These are from Kelly Perky. I love this Sunday through Saturday here. And this is great for scrapbooking, but it's also great for card making. So I'm going to take I Love You from this Simon Says Stamp set and I'm going to stamp those together and then I'll put little check marks in each of those boxes. It's just a great way of taking your scrapbooking products and use them on card making. So I'm going to first use my EK Success powder tool here. This is a great way to avoid static um, holding your white embossing powder where you don't want it, especially on dark papers like this. So I'm just going to brush it on. It puts a little powder on which you can brush off later. And now I'm going to stamp my images here with Versamark. I put the images together on a block. You could stamp them separately if you wanted to. I'm going to put this here just so I know where I make sure I get this nice and centered. And because I'm using Versamark ink, which is kind of sticky, it will remove some of the powder here and leave a nice stamped image and I'll be able to see it. That's one of the other advantages of using this powder is you'll be able to see where your stamped image is when you're using this clear ink. And the powder doesn't get in the way of the embossing at all. So now I'll just shake on my Hero Arts white embossing powder and flick off the extra. And you can see there's no stray white embossing flakes because I used the powder tool. So now I'm just going to zap this with my heat gun. And I'm doing this on a craft sheet so I can lay this right on my surface and it'll help to transfer that heat and make sure that I get a good embossed image. And now that my embossing is done, I'm just going to rub away the powder from the powder tool. And you can see you get the nice crisp white against the black. I'm just going to add some adhesive. This is my favorite adhesive, a Tombow Stamp Runner. Just put some adhesive on the back side of this intricate die. I love how detailed it is. I'm just add this on top and I think it's really fun to have these kind of offset here. These dies are also um, available in a horizontal too, which are the same size just in a horizontal format. And this is great for project life type scrapbooking, which I'm going to be starting soon and this will fit perfectly in there. So next I wanted to show you those wood hearts here. I love wood veneer embellishments, but sometimes I don't have the exact ones that I want, so I like to use my die cuts for that. So this is a piece of wood veneer paper from uh, Simon Says Stamp, and I'm just going to place various Simon Says Stamp heart dies onto it. And this just, you put through any of your die cut machines. I'm using the Vagabond, but you can use any die cut machine for this. Cuddlebug, Big Shot, whatever you want. You just cut this as you would regular paper. If you want to, you could add a little shim to make sure it cuts right through, but I haven't had any problems with just using the die cut machine as is. It cuts very nicely. It's nice and thin. If you want this wood paper to be a little more sturdy, you could add additional pieces of paper behind it, but I find this works just perfectly. So now I have all these different wood shapes and I love the texture that you get with it, but it's nice and thin too, so it's not too bulky. So now I'm gonna keep my extra hearts that I decided not to use in with my dies here, so I can save them for a future project. That's just a little tip that I do, because I'm only gonna use three of the hearts that I cut on this project. So now I'm going to take the three that I chose and just temporarily adhere it to some scrap paper, just to hold them still while I add some color to them. I'm going to use R29 Copic marker. Now you could use any kind of marker here that you want, just let it dry when you're done. Uh, I find permanent works best, so Copic marker or even a Sharpie marker would work for this. 
this. Um, you could do paints also. I just like that the marker allows the wood grain feel to show through. I use the darker of the different wood sheets that you can get. Um, there is a lighter also, but I thought the darker kind of went fun with that dark red. So now I'm using my Uniball Signo white pen, which is by far the best white pen, to add little check marks to each of these days. And then I'm just going to put some foam dots in the back of those wood hearts to add to the card. Again, you could die cut a bunch of regular cardstock and adhere it to the back of this wood to give it some um, dimension if you wanted to, but I think the foam dots work just as good. So then I'm using the white pen again to add little dots to the end of I Love You and then also to make the eye pop a little bit more. So I also wanted to show you how I stamped the background here, this little diagonal partial background. I used this stamp set from Simon Says Stamp, and they have these three great borders here on the side. And I thought it'd be fun to combine them together. They're individual, but I thought it'd be fun to combine them together onto a block. So the way I do long images like this is I push it up against a ruler or a straight edge to make sure the image is straight before I put it on my block. So I'm going to do that with each of these. I'll just put this one right up against the ruler. You see I kind of push it to make sure it's straight. And then I squeeze it between the ruler and the last image that I put on. So I'll do that again with this one. I'll put it against the ruler and then squeeze it against the other one and they get nice in a row. The reason I kind of clipped out some of the video there is my head got in the way as I was lining them up. So now I'm going to use some Hero Art Soft Pool ink just to ink this up here. I'm using the Martha Stewart stamp press here. It's got these little feet that allow you to kind of wiggle it around before you press it down onto your card as I'm doing here. And I'm just going to stamp this onto the card at a diagonal. The fun part about combining a bunch of borders like this is you could just leave it as this where it's just this fun little stripe across a card or you can keep going and add more and more. If you wanted to, you could cover the whole note card. I decided only to stamp the bottom kind of um, maybe two-thirds of the card and leave the top corner undone just to make it look a little more interesting than an entire background stamped. I was going to leave just the three stamped borders along the back as here, but when I put that piece on it covered up most of it, so I decided to go ahead and stamp all the way down to the bottom of the card. So there we go, we can see more of the pattern now. And then I'll just go ahead and glue this onto the front of the card and we're ready to go. I also wanted to show you some of the other Life Series dies from Simon Says Stamp. This one is another. It's a horizontal um, rounded bubble. Here are the horizontal squared bubbles like I um, talked about before. And you can see this piece of black cardstock is cut to 3 by 4 So you can see it's perfectly, the outside edge of this perfectly fits into a 3 by 4 spot, which is great for the front of cards. And this one's slightly smaller, so you could glue it on top of a 3 by 4 card, either the center piece or the outline like I did. So there's a peek at some of the new dies from Simon Says Stamp and also how to create wood die cut shapes and add some color to them. If you have any questions, please visit simonsaysstamp.com or jennifermaguireinc.com. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.